shadows of Fu Manchu. Based on the story by Tex Roma. Inspector Nayland Smith of New Scotland Yard's Criminal Investigation Department has been recalled from Burma to investigate the activities in London of the super scientific criminal Dr. Fu Manchu. Through a series of mysterious murders, Smith discovers a clue to the whereabouts of Fu Manchu, who has, meanwhile, cleverly trapped Dr. James Petrie, Nayland Smith's friend and associate in the Limehouse Den. We find Nayland Smith, Inspector Weymouth, and Inspector Mackay of the River Police gathered in Weymouth's office in Scotland Yard, discussing the disappearance of Dr. Petrie. Tell me, I mean, this is an opium den in one of the burrows of the old Ratcliffe Highway. They call it Singapore Charlie. Do you have anything on it, Mac? Yes, I must have to send it for some of the Oriental societies, I believe. But all sorts of opium smokers use it. There's never been any complaints that I know of. However, we might try it, isn't it? We will. Meanwhile, what do you just make of this? I found it in Cadby's room, in the fireplace. Someone burned several sheets from his case book, and these are the charred fragments I rescued. Can you make it out, Wilbur? Oh. Hunchback, last girl went up, unlike others, did not return to Shen Yan. I don't believe there's any doubt about Shen Yan's name, Mr. Smith. Turn me out, booming sound. Last girl in mortuary. I could not identify for days or suspicion. Tuesday night in a different makeup. Snatched pigtail. The pigtail again. Whoever burned the torn-out pages burned them together. They lay flat, and this must have been in the middle. However, now we have a reference to a hunchback. And what follows amounts to this. Alaska, amongst several others, went up somewhere at Chen Yang's and didn't come down. And Cadby, who was there, noted a booming sound, eh? Right. Later, he identified the Alaska in some mortuary. We have no means of fixing the date of this visit to Shen Yang's, but I'm inclined to put down the Alaska as the Dak horse who was murdered by Fu Manchu. The position, of course, but probably correct. And it's evident that Cadbin had to pay another visit to the place in a different makeup or disguise. Exactly. And the Tuesday night proposed was undoubtedly last night. The reference to a pigtail is interesting because of what was found on Cadby's body. And it all hooks up with the disappearance of Petrie. Someone else was in Cadby's room searching for that book when Petrie arrived. And even if Petrie hadn't scratched on the wall, I am taken. I'd still know it was Fu Manchu. you to help him, Mr. Smith, if he's fallen into the hands of that fiend. I'm into that. Well, it's exactly 10.20. I'll trouble you, Weymouth, for the freedom of your fancy wardrobe. I'm going to Shenyan's tonight. Risky business, that. How about an official visit? Oh, worse than useless. By your own admission, the place is open to inspection. No, Weymouth. We are dealing with the most stupendous genius the modern Orient has ever produced. I don't believe in disguises. Still, if you're determined, there's an end of it. Oscar can make him up. What character do you propose to adopt, Mr. Smith? Oh, the usual rough seaman. Something like Cadby. I'm going with you, of course. 
Not necessary, Wimpole Chef. I can handle it. I can pretend to smoke opium as well as another. They make a first-rate seaman. I'll be going along, Max. Come. We'll drop down the river from Wapping and reconnoiter close to the riverside. Then, Mac, you can put us ashore somewhere below. In here. A bit of a job for you, Foster. Yes, sir. This is Special Inspector Nayland Smith. How do you do? How do you do? You ought to make him up as he directs. I'll put on my own outfit. A rough seaman, Foster. A gold earring and everything to go with it. Right, is it? Will you sit here in front of this log? Do your best, then, Foster. If you need it. Uh, right, Inspector. Anything else, sir? What do you say, Mr. Smith? Keep the police launch close to the back of the place, Mac. With the men ready. Your fellows, Waymouth, should loiter about close to the front, near enough to hear a whistle. I've arranged for that. If we're suspected, are we to give the alarm? I'm not sure yet. Even in that event, I might wait a bit. And don't wait too long. We shouldn't be much wiser if your next appearance was on the end of a grappling hook, somewhere down Greenwich Reach, with half your fingers missing. <laughs> I'll try to have all my digits when you see me next. Yes, sir. All of them. There you are, sir. That's the best I can do. Your own mother wouldn't know you. Look. Hmm. Good job, Foster. <laughs> I don't even recognize myself. How are you coming, Weymouth? Ready. Play the old Harry. <laughs> You're a villainous looking beast. <laughs> well, you'd hardly instill confidence in a child yourself, Weymouth. All right. If we're ready, let's start. We'll stop in the assembly room. I have a few orders from the men. That Eurasian woman you mentioned, Smith, uh, Kara May, I believe you said her name was. Just how does she figure in this business? She's one of Fu Manchu's keenest weapons. Beautiful and extremely clever. But I place my hopes for Petrie's safety in her. A slim hope, my friend. She's one of the enemy. Yes, but she's in love with Petrie. In love with him? Great Scott, how long has he known her? Twenty-four hours, to my knowledge. But he doesn't know she loves him. She saw him the first time at Sir Crichton Davis' home the night Sir Crichton died. Oh, love in the East, Weymouth, is like the conjurer's mango tree. It's born, grows, and flowers with the touch of a hand. Little enough to put one's confidence in. Well, here we are, the assembly room. Guthrie and Lyle, get along you two and find a dark corner which commands the door to Singapore Charlie's off the old highway. You look the dirtiest of the fruit, Guthrie. You start an argument with Lyle, but don't move until you hear the whistle inside. And note everybody that goes in and comes out. That's all. Yes, sir. Come along now. You other two belong to this division. Yes, sir. You're on special duty tonight, but don't let that enlarge your chest. They may get deflated with a knife. You know of a back way into Shenyan's? Yeah, there's an empty shop opposite, sir. I know of a broken window at the back we can get in. We could get through to the front and watch from there. Good. See, you're not spotted. And if you hear the whistle, get into Shenyan's as fast as the devil will let you. Otherwise, wait for orders. Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very well. Get at it. The wedding, Mr. Smith. Right, oh. We might as well get started. Out this way through the back. Takes us to the police. Sir. Suppose Fu Manchu uses Shen Yan's place. How do you know he's there tonight? I don't know, chap. But it's the only clue we have pointing to one of his haunts. And who is he, sir, exactly? The doctor of Fu Manchu. I've only the vaguest idea, Mac. But he's no ordinary criminal. And he has the backing of a political group whose wealth is enormous. That's his object, Smith. His mission in Europe is to pave the way, if you understand what I mean. He's the advance agent of a movement so epoch-making that not one Britisher nor one American in a hundred thousand can even conceive it. On your left, past the wooden pier. And not with the lamp, there's just beyond that, next to the dark square building. Shen Yan's. Drop us somewhere handy and lie close in with your ears open. We may have to run for it, so don't go far away. I do. That's all that. We'll put in at the stone stairs. Quiet now, everyone. Shop front is camouflaged. It looks like a barber shop, Smith. Although I don't suppose a man has been shaved there in years. Easy, man. Here we are. We'll be handy if you need us, Mr. Smith. Right. Come on, Weymouth. There's the place. Across the alley. Hmm. Come along. And leave the talking to me. Hey, Charlie! Come out here, you blinking heathen! What do you want? Oh, no, no, get ready tonight. Uh, too late. Close your shop. Now, don't you come none of that with me. Get inside there and give me and me mate a couple of pipes. Right, do you hear me? Smoky pipes. Blasted scum. 
Shabby! Oh, no, 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 can do, no can do. Master! Here's your money. Keep me waiting, I'll pull your shop down, and you can lay to that. Oh, no, I've got wet, sir. Pull up, no room. You come see. You see, uh, no, 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 I can't tell you. It's an empty corner there, ain't there? Pity you. You bring me two pipes quick, or you'll get your blinking head knocked off. Oh, give me the pipe, Charlie. Oh, oh, All right, uh, you sit down, let catch some pipes. It's time, we must. Thank you, all this. Get him to sleep. We've got to work fast, right? There's a stairway back of that ragged curtain, and there's your hunchback. He's taking chosen men upstairs somewhere. That's our objective, we must. The hunchback of Cadby's notes. There's one here, Dacroix. Look at his right hand. Who hunt you is up there? These men come here for their orders. I'll rush the stairs when I give the word. You're near us, so you'll have to go first. If the hunchback follows, I'll take care of him. Ready? Ready. Now, up you go. That door at the end of the hall. Hold it, Weymouth. There he is. By the great old Nick. So you are the notorious Dr. Fu Manchu. Not your service, Inspector Weymouth. And yours, Mr. Nayland Smith. I have been expecting you. Drop your guns, gentlemen. They are useless. You are covered from several angles. What have you done with Dr. Petrie? Dr. Petrie? Oh. A worthy companion, Mr. Smith, who comprehends the value of silence. Up to the present, I have been very unsuccessful in my efforts to make him speak. You are just in time, gentlemen, to witness his, uh, demise. Draw the curtain, Lau. Petrie, you do Remain where you are, gentlemen. You cannot help him. And since he is gagged, he cannot speak. You will note that he stands on a trap. When I touch this lever... He will go the way of Mason and Cabby. Don't touch that lever, lever Doctor Hugh. I'll kill you where you stand. Great Scott. He's pulled the lever. The lights, Wilma. The lights. Thank you.